Hello everyone and welcome to Storytime. I'm Miss Carly. I'm Miss Silvana. And we're so glad that you guys could join us this week for Storytime, where every week we share fun songs, activities, and tips about our weekly theme. And this week we will be talking about caterpillars and butterflies. That's right. But before we get started, we want to do our hello song. This is called Everybody Wave Hello and it's to the tune of Mary Had a Little Lamb. Will you guys join us at home? Are you ready? Yes. Let's do it. Everybody wave hello. Wave hello. Wave hello. Everybody wave hello. Let's have some fun. Everybody clap hello. Clap hello. Clap hello. Everybody clap hello. Now our song is done. If you'd like to be included in our hello song, send a short 5 to 10 second video of your little one waving to library at buckeyeaz.gov. As we mentioned earlier, we're going to be talking about caterpillars and butterflies today and what makes them really unique. They have a really interesting life cycle, so we're going to talk about that a little bit right now. So this is the life cycle of a butterfly and we're going to start up here at the top. As you can see, they start out as little tiny eggs and then the next stage they'll turn into is a caterpillar and they'll get bigger and bigger and bigger and then they turn into a cocoon and they stay in there for a while and then once they're ready they come out and they turn into a beautiful butterfly. Now, each of these four stages are very unique to individual species of butterflies, which is part of what makes watching and raising butterflies so much fun. So stick around because we're going to have so much fun singing and doing activities with butterflies and caterpillars. We have a fun little activity with five beautiful butterflies. Will you guys count them with me? One, two, three, four, five. Can you guys show me five? Good job. All right, it goes like this. Five little butterflies on flowers galore. One flew off, and then there were four. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Good job. All right, here we go. Four little butterflies flying among the trees. One flew off, and then there were three. Let's count. One, two, three. Can you guys show me three? Good job, all right, here we go. Three little butterflies with nothing to do. One flew off, and then there were two. One, two, can you guys show me two? Good job. Two little butterflies resting in the sun. One flew off, and then there was one. Let's count, one, just one left. One little butterfly, now the only one, she flew off. And then there were none. Shall we bring our butterflies back? Let's put them back on the board and we'll count them together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Thank you guys for helping me count. all about caterpillars and butterflies today we have a really fun song about a caterpillar and it's to the tune of if you're happy and you know it it's called there's a tiny caterpillar on a leaf so we're gonna get our little caterpillars out like this we're gonna sing together you guys join us all right it goes like this there's a tiny caterpillar on a leaf wiggle wiggle there's a tiny caterpillar on a leaf wiggle wiggle there's a tiny caterpillar a tiny caterpillar a tiny caterpillar on a leaf wiggle wiggle all right now we're gonna get our big caterpillar like this can you guys go like this all right it goes like this there's a big caterpillar on a leaf, munch, munch. There's a big caterpillar on a leaf, munch, munch. There's a big caterpillar, a big caterpillar, a big caterpillar on a leaf, munch, munch. All right, and what does that caterpillar turn into? A beautiful butterfly. So we're going to go like this, all right? Get your butterflies out. 
There's a pretty butterfly on a leaf. Flutter, flutter. There's a big pretty butterfly on a leaf. Flutter, flutter. There's a pretty butterfly. A pretty butterfly. There's a pretty butterfly on a leaf. Flutter, flutter. Good job. And here's a quick tip. Good nonfiction books help build vocabulary. It also fosters critical thinking and information gathering skills. Like this book right here, this nonfiction book from Caterpillar to Butterfly. Today for our home activity, we're gonna be making coffee filter butterflies like this. All you'll need is a coffee filter, some markers, and some water and pipe cleaners and that's it. Now the way that you make it is you'll need two pipe cleaners to make one butterfly and then <clears throat> just decorate your coffee filters with markers however you like it doesn't matter you can do it in a pattern I made circles like this or you can just just do it scribbles and it turns out beautiful once you wet it so you'll need um, one that you decorate and then when you're ready to spray them stack them on top of each other and spray them with water and until the color starts spreading and then just set them out on top of each other to dry leave them like that until they're dry and then you'll have two that have a matching pattern and then you're ready to start making the butterfly so you'll take each one and fold them accordion style like this and then you'll have two that have the matching pattern and then you'll be ready to put your pipe cleaner on to make the butterfly put it right in the middle there and then just twist and twist and twist until it's on there securely. And then you can cut these off if you want them shorter or you can roll them under like this. And then spread out your wings like so. And you have a beautiful butterfly. Miss Silvana, can you tell me about how you made yours? Yeah, those are so cute, Miss Carly. Love the colors, how they came out. Thank you. Yeah, I did the same thing. I got some pipe cleaners, but I used mine too. I did separate. You can just uh, use your markers and do any shapes, colors, as much as you can. My other one came out really cool too. What kind more of markers bright. did you use? I used some dub, dub, dubbers. Mm -hmm. There are a little more ink on it, so, but anything you have at home, it, it can work. Mm -hmm. and, and just let it dry in the sun, and sprinkle in some water. You can just use your fingers if you don't have a little bottle. Just mm -hmm. be creative with it. Yep. And those turned out beautiful. I love mm -hmm. all the beautiful colors. Yes. This one was a little lighter. The, the markers were lighter, and I put a lot of water on it, but these ones were really vibrant. The ones that she used the dot markers with were super vibrant. Love those. Mm -hmm. So just have fun and make your beautiful butterflies. Check out these books featuring our theme for this week. Available at your library. Visit our website for more information at buckeyeaz.gov slash library. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you guys had a lot of fun learning all about caterpillars and butterflies. And have fun at home making your butterfly. That's right. And make sure you guys join us next week to see what we'll be learning about then. But before we go, we've got to do our closing song, Skin em a Rink. Will you guys join us at home? Are you ready? Yes. Let's do it. Skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky do. I love you. Skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. Now it's time to go home, but I'll see you soon. Oh, skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky do. I love you. Bye, Bye guys. guys. We'll see you next week.